Hi, I'm Emma from Studio 77 and here's four really easy scrap busting jersey projects. Stay watching to the end for my favourite top tip. First off is the knot headband. Cut a rectangle 8.5 by 6.5 inches. Right sides together, sew the long edges together using a zigzag stitch or an overlocker. Turn it the right way out and tuck the short edges inside each other. Folding the outer one inside a little so that it's not a raw edge. Line up the side seams and zigzag stitch that edge closed. For the bow part, cut a rectangle 3.5 by 8 inches. Fold it in half lengthways and make a mark at the halfway point. Open it up and fold it in half the other way. Using the middle mark you just made, mark 2 inches from the centre and draw a curved line from there to the halfway point on the fold. Cut out using a rotary cutter. Open the rectangle up and use the end you just cut as a template for the other end and cut it out. Using this piece as a template, cut out another one. Place right sides together and pin, leaving a gap in the middle along one long edge. Stitch all around using a zigzag stitch or overlocker apart from between the two pins. Once sewn, turn it the right way out and fold the edge in. Stitch this opening closed using a small zigzag stitch. Tie the bow piece around a third up from the seam on the main headband and it's finished! Mummy made this for me and I love it so, 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 so much! On to the necklace. Cut out a rectangle that is 24 by 8 inches. Fold it in half and cut off a 1 inch strip along the long edge, putting that piece to one side. Place a strip of masking tape along the shorter cut edge and then cut in a half inch to three quarter inch strips along the width, being sure not to cut the one inch where the masking tape is. Take the masking tape off of that edge. Open up the rectangle and place one short edge on top of the other. Stitch this line using a wide zigzag stitch. Now that stitch, we will bind the closing for the back of the necklace. Take the strip we cut earlier and pull it so that the edges curl in, making a kind of string or tape with the strip. At one end of the strip, make a loop in this string and lay it on top of the seam area you just stitched, with the seam in the middle of the loop. Wind the long end of the string around the necklace, leaving a small tail from the loop on the right side. Keep winding until you almost reach the end of the loop on the left. When you almost reach the end, thread the loose end through the loop. Pull the small tail you started with through the binding, which will pull the loop and loose end through and under the binding neatly. Cut off any small piece you have, making sure it's not too close to the loop now pulled through. Finally, pull on all the separate strings to stretch the jersey and have it all curl up. While I'm doing that, comment below with your favourite quick sewing project. For the bean bags, cut two squares 2.5 by 2.5 inches and then place right sides together. Stitch around three edges using an overlocker or lightning stitch. Here's one I made earlier. Turn it the right way out. Pulling out the corners, I like to use a pin for this, and fill it up with dry rice or lentils. I used seven teaspoons full for mine. Then fold the raw edges so that the seams meet in the middle. Fold this seam inside a little and stitch closed using a small tight zigzag along this edge.
And so we're done. These would also make great pattern weights for your workroom. And so on to the bookmark. Don't forget to stay to the end to find out my top tip for sewing stretch. Cut a rectangle that measures 15 and a half by two and a half inches and two small squares measuring two and a half by two and a half inches. With right sides together, fold the rectangle in half lengthways and stitch along this edge using a lightning stitch or overlocker. Turn this tube the right way out. I like to use a loop turner as it's a bit of a game changer. Just be careful not to pierce the fabric. For the embellishment, cut a square of fusible interfacing and a square of fusible webbing at 2.5 by 2.5 inches again. I like to use a Teflon sheet when using fusible to protect my iron and my mat. Sandwich the fusibles between the two jersey squares so that they make one piece of fabric, with the right sides facing out. Check that the print is facing the same way on both top and bottom of the jersey. Draw your design on a piece of paper until you're happy with the size and shape. I think a heart would be really cute on this as well. Cut it out of the paper and then cut it out of the jersey square. Press the long tube flat with the seam in the middle on the back. Fold the tube so that the seam is towards the bottom on the inside and pin or glue baste the embellishment to the tube towards the top on the front. Print stick is great for temporary basting. Then top stitch the embellishment to the tube all the way around the shape. And tie off the loose ends. Tuck in the two ends of the tube and fold in the top edge. Securing with a wide zigzag to close. And it's all ready to hold your place in your book. And now for my top tip for sewing stretch fabric. A walking foot is your absolute friend when it comes to sewing stretch fabric on your machine. I highly recommend them as they really do change the way the machine handles the fabric. Just check that you're getting the right one for your machine. You will have seen me use this throughout this video and that's because I use it on almost every project. If you love this video, you will love these tips and tutorials on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.